I'm uh, Dr. Bruce Hedgepeth, radiologist at Phelps Health, and I'm at the Women's Breast Center here at the hospital, medical office building. The stereotactic biopsy machine that we have here uh, allows us to get tissue diagnosis on women who have mammographically detected lesions or area of interest and we're trying to find out or sort out whether they have breast cancer or not. So what we can do with this machine is take things that we find on the conventional mammogram or even ultrasound images and utilize this machine to biopsy the target and to find out if it is breast cancer or not. And we do that by having the lady comfortably lay on the table and they are on top of the table and we work below the table and the breast comes through the table to allow us to do the biopsy which does not need the usual surgical type of biopsy. What makes this machine special is it gives us 3D or three-dimensional imaging, also called tomosynthesis. And the tomosynthesis is also what we use in the conventional routine mammography. And therefore we can take what we see on the routine mammography and translate it here and make sure that we're biopsying the correct lesion or the correct target. So this machine does have the 3D capability to see through the breast and to see with depth at small half millimeter increments. As before, we just had one way of taking the picture and we weren't able to slice uh, the images very thin to find very small uh, targets to more easily identify and biopsy. This allows us to uh, expand the types of lesions that we biopsy and to expand the complexity of the lesions that we see in order to simplify the biopsy process. And this special feature, which is relatively new, is uh, unique to Phelps here in regards to the surrounding area. This, uh, this machine would be utilized for any and all women who have any type of lesion, uh, whether it's mass, calcifications, asymmetric density, architectural distortion that we can't see by any other way other than by using x-ray and the tomosynthesis. My name is Julie McRae and I'm one of the technologists here in the Breast Center and I will be one that you would see if you had to come back in for a stereotactic biopsy. Um, this is our machine and what we would do is we have a big step stool and basically the patient lays up here on the table. The table does have some padding. We try to get you as comfortable as we can, but unfortunately you're going to be on your stomach, so sometimes that can be a little bit uncomfortable. But basically the breast will, there's a hole here in the middle and the breast hangs down. And then this is where we would be working doing the biopsy. Um, this does allow us to move in a lot of positions with the breast. Um, we can move this whole thing around so that if we want to come in from sideways, we can, or if we even want to come in from underneath side of the breast, we're able to do that. Um, basically, I would get you positioned. We do utilize compression um, just to kind of keep you still. and. Um, we want compression too because we want these pictures to look very similar to the pictures that we do in the regular mammogram rooms. So um, the compression paddle have a little hole in it that basically allows us to get you in a position and then the radiologist, Dr. Hedgepath, can come in and 
um, insert that needle into that target area that we're going for. These procedures typically can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Um, typically, our nurse will assess the patient. She does have a little informational video we let all of them watch so they know what to expect to. And um, then once we get her in here, hopefully closer to 30 minutes. This benefits patients by allowing them to have biopsies um, in a way or manner in which we feel more confident that we are able to go after a lesion and to actually correctly identify and biopsy and get the lesion. And to stay local here with this kind of technology is a real plus.